welcome back everyone to another video and in somewhat shocking news uh, that it might seem uh pretty close to the april fools day and i really thought this was a joke but ubuntu has decided to kill off its phone uh its touch os that's for the phones and the tablets and its convergence program which is when you dock the tablet becomes your uh, main desktop and rather surprisingly their long lived unity desktop environment now really at first i uh, was going through my google now feed i saw the ars technica uh, uh you know um card and popped it up and it said this and it was so close that i really thought it was an april fools day joke then i went to the official blog post at insight.ubuntu.com and it actually is um true ubuntu is killing off ubuntu phone convergence and unity and the crux is that they are going to switch back to uh, gnome and uh a focus more on server and desktop which is their main market and apart from that uh go into iot which is actually is doing really good for them in terms of uh, you know adoption rate a lot of people are actually you know adding support for that operating system on uh, pretty much every device you can see with ubuntu core and snap apps uh, doing really well so uh, uh if you are into snaps then you are fine uh, the um, death of ubuntu phone doesn't really affect the snap part but if you have bought an ubuntu uh, phone device uh, as in those uh, bbq or uh, i don't know what they were but uh, those phone that came preloaded with ubuntu uh, phone uh, they uh, are not going to get uh, updated a lot from now on or pretty much at all um so again i have not really read through the whole thing i uh, you know i wanted to do it on camera um so this is the crux that i have uh, you know get, got from the ars technica um page now what i think is going back to gnome might not benefit them because not a lot of people uh, i have known in the open source community are really that much big of a fan of the uh, gnome desktop interface uh, environment interface and uh, i personally like it uh, it's sort of minimalistic and you know i've i've been using it on my laptop for a good 2 to 3 months and i've really gotten used to that uh, you know sliding my finger towards the top left corner and i sometimes uh, when i get the hang of it tend to do it on my ubuntu and my windows uh 10 machines but uh, apart from that not a lot of people are going to be happy with the switch coming to gnome they could have gone with something like uh you know mate or uh cinnamon but they uh, decided to stick with gnome that is good because i personally think that gnome is much 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 more stable than something like even unity now i have had my fair bit of problems with unity and i really like the fact that they had decided to put the uh, you know uh, menu bar at the bottom and uh, you can access stuff from there but uh, they are killing it off so it won't be immediate it won't be in the uh, 17.x releases so it is going to uh, go out in the uh, 18.4 LTS so they are going to do this change in the next uh, long term support release so this also means mir display server which was a replacement for x display server and uh, a competition to the wayland display server is also being killed so let's just see if i can uh, see uh, search something about mir it's not in this article as of now but it seems i did read it here uh so mir so yes i does say that um canonicals work on a new desktop display server mir has also been slow uh, canonical is also giving up on mir 
and moving uh, to the VLAN server. So of course VLAN has now a full go and uh, a hundred uh, probably a hundred percent adoption rate apart from the X Windows system. So a lot of um, apps will uh, are going to be ported to uh, VLAN pretty soon. Now there are a couple of apps that I use on a regular basis, something like um, uh, G parted or um, GFX bench that don't really work well on the uh, X VLAN. You prob uh, you basically port VLAN back to X, and that doesn't work well. So if uh, there is uh, one consistent display server. Uh, now uh, the X project will die probably and VLAN will come along. Everyone is going to port pretty much everything to VLAN. So uh, there's no two sides of thing. The developer won't have to code for both Mir and VLAN. VLAN. So it's it's good in that uh, spectrum. So uh, coming to the Ubuntu Touch OS or the Ubuntu phone thing though, uh, I uh, personally never had the uh, chance of getting my hands on one of the devices or a device that had been hacked to uh, run Ubuntu touch and uh, the reason but the reason I was excited for Ubuntu touch was mainly to do with Android getting a really good competition uh, in the Linux operating system on mobile phone market but it really seems that uh, they decided to kill it apparently it wasn't doing that well so uh, yes these announcement did come to me in a very shocking way because i really thought unity 8 was going to be a big thing uh, i really i recently did a few videos on that i think and um, it seems that they are apparently killing it and that's about that so in the near future ubuntu is going to look a lot like fedora uh, but of course with the uh, stability of uh, and the reliability that you get with ubuntu so uh, that was i guess it my take on uh, ubuntu pretty much killing everything except server desktop and iot which basically fall under the same category with ubuntu core just being a step down version uh, of uh, the ubuntu server and ubuntu server being a ui less version of ubuntu desktop with a few things other added to it but uh, that's about it so we can expect um, a lot more development to to take shape in the uh, main ubuntu and server area uh, and that should be interesting to see how uh, this uh, shapes up for the 18.x uh, releases so this was it for today thank you so much for watching and um, ubuntu kills off pretty much everything. See you in the next one.